YouTube. Hello! Welcome to my channel Annette Bella and today I'm going to be doing my second episode of my Bella Mort series. Why has it taken so long to organise the second episode? It will become clear. The second episode is on the relationship between Bellatrix Black and Rudolphus Lestrange. Finding any information that is concrete is really difficult. I had to start with Lord Voldemort. Got his date of birth, when he started Hogwarts, when he graduated and his death date. Those are essential bits of information because he's the kingpin for everybody else meeting. So, Lord Voldemort, also known as Tom Riddle, his date of birth is the 31st of December 1926. He started Hogwarts in 1938 and he graduated Hogwarts in 1945. His death date, as everybody knows, is the 2nd of May 1998. He died age 71, and that's really important that we have set births, deaths, and when he started and when he finished Hogwarts, because otherwise all the other characters who follow him can't fall into some kind of order. For Bellatrix Black, who became Bellatrix the Strange, all I can get for her date of birth is a year, and that year is 1951. I looked at the Wizarding World website, formerly known as Pottermore. I looked at the Harry Potter lexicon. I looked at the Harry Potter fan Wikipedia. I looked at regular Wikipedia just to get some dates on her. It is impossible to find a month and a day. Don't know why. Also, her death date is the same as Lord Voldemort's, which is the 2nd of May, 1998. But her age, she's either 46 or 47 which means that her start dates for Hogwarts and her graduation dates for Hogwarts are also dual yeared. So it's either she either starts Hogwarts in 1962 or 1963 respectively, or she graduates Hogwarts in 1968 or 1969. Why on earth is this information necessary? Well, when you bring in Rudolphus Lestrange, his date of birth, all I can get is pre-1964 which means that he was born before Beltrix went to Hogwarts. So he must be at least 50 years older, or at least not 50, 15 years older than her in age, because trying to get something concrete on this man is impossible. Even for a marriage date, all I am getting is married Beltrix back, Bel married Beltrix Black sometime before 1971. And that is it. So if she left Hogwarts in 1968 or 1969, she was married two years later or three years later. And that's it. She had very little time as an independent adult female woman. She was literally graduated, had three years or two years with her family, and then she made a purebred match and that is it and that is in itself very interesting because I think that tells you something about the times that was happening to the women in magical societies. Note that the crimes of Grindelwald does pick up on that. I think there is a shortage of magical women. For Rudolphus Lestrange we do have a date for 2020 when he escaped um, Azkaban again to go and train um, Lord Voldemort and Bellatrix Black's illegitimate daughter Delphine but I don't have any death date for him for Rudolphus the Strange there is no death date at all given anywhere I personally think that Delphine murdered him eventually but that is just conjecture there is nothing concrete here as for his brother Rastaban the Strange his date of birth is again pre-1964 and his death date is again another set of question marks. Rastaban was presumed killed or imprisoned in Azkaban once more after the Battle of Hogwarts. And that's it. So Rastaban is out. So working out when these three people met Tom Riddle and engaged in his service as Death Eaters is impossible. All I've got to go with is that I think that Rudolphus Lestrange must have either been in his second year when Tom Riddle was graduating. or coming up into Hogwarts, either in the first year or the second year, just as Tom Riddle was leaving it. Because otherwise, how on earth would they meet? Because he graduated in 1945, and it's, it's definitely pre-1964, 
that's all we've got to go on. And we know that in 1964, Bellatrix Black was in Hogwarts studying. So it has to be before that. There are other pieces of information that you can gather, but it's just conjecture, conjecture and inference. It isn't clear at all. My personal theory is Rudolphus courted Bellatrix because she was powerful, because she was this asset. Because Bellatrix is one of the most powerful witches in the wizarding world. She can deflect Dumbledore's spells like that. She can shield her mind. She knows Occlumancy very, very well. She can shield her mind from Voldemort if she wishes. So her skills and ability would have been a prize. So I think that in her sixth or possibly fifth year, she was targeted by the Death Eaters to be groomed to basically become what she became. I really do think, and I think that they didn't take her seriously during her first, second or third year. But it was after she'd proven herself with grades and constant, consistent results that they said, yeah, she's going to be a, a useful asset. And I think it's interesting that Beltrix and Rudolphus don't have any children because they were married for years and years and years. Yes, they had a chunk of time in Azkaban, but they didn't have any children. So I strongly suspect that Rudolphus was firing blanks, which meant that something was wrong with his fertility because we know that Beltrix didn't have any fertility problems. Cursed child, voila, Delphine. Drop of the hat. And we clearly know that Lord Voldemort didn't have any problems with his fertility, apparently. So that is all I'm going to say on this. It's really frustrating. The third episode of this is going to be so easy to do because it's going to be the relationship between Beltrix and Lord Voldemort. And I can get tons of information on that. I've got information dripping. I've got completely incorrect information, but it is there. It is trackable in the books. And it is trackable online and you can get some good concrete facts that we can look at. But for Bellatrix, when she meets Rudolphus, when she meets Rastaban, we don't know. We do not know it. Whether she met them at her family's house, because her family, the Blacks, got three daughters inviting all these pure blood males round for tea. You know, as they used to do. Calling cards, as well as, what's, as, well as the Hogwarts marriage mark. Mark it, and I suspect that Beltrix, as she's the oldest sister, she was the first one, and she had to set a standard for her other sisters. Because remember, she's got Narcissa and oh Andromeda as well to set the example for. So, for somebody as independently minded and having such a spirit, this must have the whole process must have been somewhat soul destroying for Beltrix. I, I suspect having to do this yes she would have gone along with the whole pure blood thing because she's that way inclined but the whole actual thing would have limited her independence which is why when she does sign up for death eater duties she throws herself into it because it's freedom it's freedom from the institution of marriage it's freedom from any rules of wizarding society beltrix is only completely through completely free to be her psychotic best when she's in sadistic service of Lord Voldemort which is really kind of strange but it just shows you that for a woman who whose name means female warrior her name is Bellatrix Black that is her original name yeah Bellatrix Lestrange came later Bellatrix Black is the person that we are going to talk about throughout this series because I think that she never really gave up being a Black to become a Lestrange and I think that that is going to play out later. I find it interesting with Rudolphus that we only have three bits of concrete information that he was born pre-1964, he married Bell Bellatrix Black sometimes before 1971 and he escaped Azkaban in 2020 to go and teach Delphine some really cool magic tricks, some advanced magic. He has no death date. Rastaban, his brother, has no death date at all. And that is hugely interesting because for two blokes that were supposed to be key figures in Lord Voldemort's history, they just get written out of it. And it's very interesting in Order of Phoenix when he comes and 
Lord Voldemort comes and he rescues Beltrix, but all the other Death Eaters, he doesn't give three figs about. Because he's rescued them at the beginning of the book. Halfway through the book, they're in Azkaban again. The one person he comes for is Beltrix. And we will leave that thought there because I'm going to develop it in episode three of Bellamort, which is the relationship between Lord Voldemort and Beltrix. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you can find some concrete information on Rudolphus and Rastaban. I don't want to hear any information about Lord Voldemort and Bella. There's oodles of it all over the place. Rudolphus and Rastaban, we need facts. We need to know when they died. We need to know when they went to Hogwarts because I can't even work that out. All I've got is a date for when they got married and that's 1971. We need this information and we need to find it. We need to bring them out because what on earth was Rudolphus doing and what on earth was Rastaban doing? Because they've been written out of history. And I suspect it's probably Narcissa Malfoy who's writing them out because Narcissa Malfoy is the person that gets to rewrite the Death Eater history and it's very interesting that we can just get a year and no day and no month. That's interesting within itself. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for the babbling. Bye!